hello guys you're welcome back to my um channel my name is deborah on this channel i share sewing tutorials pattern making ideas and tips so if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please i want to encourage you to subscribe and turn on your notification bell for new video updates okay so this is another video for you and i want you to pay attention now this this video is all about how to draft a pattern for this particular design that you're seeing on your screen right now so um this design is um a cow design so there are different you know methods by which you can draft a cow pattern so if you want to achieve a cow be it a full cow or a you know moderate cow effect on your garments there are so many ways by which you can achieve this so one of the ways is what i want to share with you right now okay on my channel i have some videos on how to draft you know patterns for cow skirts you know and all of that so here is a top and it is very simple now before me it's my pattern is the pattern i drafted for my daughter my preteen daughter she's 11 plus almost 12 so and of course she's growing uh bust right now so she's still a child you know actually so she's not that matured and that's why the the pattern is small and here i added a dart of just 1.5 inches on the shoulder and i transferred it to the side because i had not even decided what i want to make as at the time i was drafting this pattern so i was just like thinking of what to do so i decided to transfer the dart from here can you see the dart here to this point and when i finally decided on what to do with it then i transferred it to the waistline so i'm sure you understand how you can transfer a dart from one position to another you know on your pattern so um i have my back pattern here i have my front pattern here so i'm not going to focus my attention on this back pattern because that is not what this video is all about so here i'm going to dwell on the front pattern so here i have my um chest line or the bust line okay so and this is my neck so i'm going to just come down from this very point i don't want to just you know contour too much so i i prefer to leave this that the way it is okay so but if you are drafting a pattern for a matured person an adult then you can make sure you contour your underbust very very important contour your underbust it will look lovely if that makes sense actually so i'm going to come to this line i will come down by one inch so I'll just come down here by one inch so this is my one inch and i will come to the shoulder here and come in by one inch as well this is the one inch then i am going to connect to this point So this is what I have. So I'll just come here. And so I'll just go up by one. And this is the one. Then I'll come here by one as well. So this is what I have. Then I'm going to pick a point here. I'm going to pick a point. So let me just measure what I have. One, two. So I'll just pick a point here and also pick a point here. Okay. So I'll connect the point to this point.
so can you see what i have here i hope you can see clearly what this is looking like so i'll just cut i'll cut this So this is what I have. So I'll cut this on fabric. So let me just go over to this, right? So, and I will be slashing. These are my slash lines, okay? So I'll just be opening it up one after the other. Don't forget to label it. This is the neck line. CF. Okay. So I'm um, slashing this pattern. I need to place it on a plain paper. Okay. So for it to be balanced. So this is the outcome. This is what it's going to look like at the end of the day. So I'm going to be joining the rest of the pattern to it later on. So now I'm attaching, you know, with the pins to be able to, you know, be balanced properly. And um, for allowances that, you know, I used to open it up is about four inches and cut out. So, but um, it depends on how full you want it to, you know, be. I initially, I didn't even want to measure uh, you know, so I just decided to measure like 4 inches, 4.25 and all of that. So I wasn't really particular about, you know, how much I wanted to um, open up because of the fabric I had. Okay, here you can just open up this way and make the line this way and even, you know, cut it more to have about, you know, f more than 4 as it's, it is right now so um here i'm just blending up with a curve line so i'm with my marker pen so that you guys can see clearly what it's about so and this is what i have so like i said you may not follow the straight line the first straight line that i drew you may make it curvy curvy just like the other you know other lines so here i'm blending the shoulder you know so and here i'm cutting out so this is what i have so i'll cut this on fold making sure that this part is on fold because it's the center front so um placing my fabric on fold this way is on the sensor you put it on bias as i did here you may just put it you know fold it normally as long as okay it's been um it's on fold you know just on the center front part so because i couldn't get it straight because of the little i'm just trying to manage the fabric i have okay so and i need to just place it this way so as to be able to get what i wanted so now i'm attaching with paints to the fabric next is for me to attach uh, to um, add my seam allowances all round i didn't add seam allowance to the neckline because i want the neckline to come down just a little so by the time i'm using bias to finish up the neckline of both front and back later on you know i'll just take out about quarter of an inch you know using the bias so i didn't i don't need any other further seam allowance on the neckline so with my um, seam allowances added now i am cutting out
so this is what I have so now I'll be stitching this part to this very point okay so this is the center this is the center so I'll just stitch to this very 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 point right so I'm just using pin so that I will that will serve as a guide for me when I'm stitching so it's time to stitch now and I'm just stitching from the center front part So I'm going to stop the stitching here. So I'll open it up just to see the effect. The effect may not be that, you know, pronounced, but at least you know that there, there are some folds on it. So here is the um, remaining part of the front piece and I'm cutting on fold okay so i'll just notch this side the center front has to be notched and i'm transferring that even to the fabric so the that must be stitched very important before i join the upper part to it So this is what I have so now that I'm done using this I'll just put it back together using my tape because I need to use it to cause to cut a facing for it for the upper part okay so this is the fabric I'm using for my facing and it's going to be unfold as shown right now as, as it's being shown right now so placing it unfold just to get the whole package and this is what i have you know and my seam allowance is being added as well so this must be joined to this so you know to the wrong side of it So I'm just pinning round and once I'm done pinning I will stitch round So I'm done pinning around. Can you see? So I will just all the spots I pin have have to be um, stitched. So I'm going to be stitching round. Okay, even including the neckline everywhere. Okay. So now here I am done stitching, and this is the effect it's giving me. So you can just use your hand, you know, to arrange the folds. Okay, and you can even use needle and thread to uh, you know do some tacking just to be able to put the fold in place so using this notch part i'm going to you know attach together and stitch and this is what i have can you see so you can just overlock the um excess the seam allowance you know on the on the wrong side so this is what i have so i used i actually used my needle and thread you know to tack some parts just to be able to you know stabilize the fold and all of that okay so this is what i have and you may decide to leave it the way it is okay it's an effect okay so and it's not it's not really looking bad at all at all so this is you know what i have for you today and i hope it's it's it, you know you have learned a lot so please give this video a big big thumbs up 
and of course share my videos subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my social media and do study patterns thank you so much bye